three will probably end up in District 3, uh, simply because we do have a large number of county guys that are on shift right now. Uh, so we'll split that time. What the fuck is this? County dispatch from 309 Motor. Hold me out with what appears to be a disabled motorist. I'm going to be uh, northbound Los Santos Freeway at the Sonora Freeway. Gonna be a uh, gray in color Sultan. Plate's gonna be Queen Edward William 945. Queen Edward William 945. Uh, everything all right, sir? 10 1633. Yeah, is everything okay with you? Sitting on the side of the road with yes, your hands sir. Yeah, I just had to sneeze real bad and I didn't want to go, you know, 70 and sneeze and then turn the wheel somewhere, you know what I mean? Fair enough. Fair so enough. I had to, had to stop Rick. Absolutely, buddy. Just talk, wanna... stopping to, to check in on you. Yeah, so you... I wanted to put the hazards on just in case no one drives into me. They see me around, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Safety first. You know what I mean? Exactly, sir. Especially with those crazy locals. I'll tell you what, my man. I have my uh, ALPR running when I pulled in behind you here. Painted your tag. The Queen Edward William five four or 945 is not returning in the DMV database. Is this a new vehicle? Oh, really? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I, that's a rental vehicle. Um, do you go down the place, uh, the car dealership? Uh, I do I know of a few dealerships. Are you talking about the one off Davis and Carson? Oh, uh, the one in Los Santos. Yeah, the in Carson. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, so, I, w I was interested in buying some cars, but they, like 30k, you know, for a car right out. I, I asked the man, can I have a test drive? And he said, yes. 3k, and you can drive the car around for a test oh, wow. and home. 3k uh you rented it for the day test drive for 3000 no, it's, it's not it's not yeah just a test drive i said i'm gonna go up the freeway and down the freeway to see how it goes and then come back okay okay do you have the the rental paperwork your driver's license and registration sir i'm gonna have the uh papers ready okay so with the uh, tag not to reach the to the glove department yeah, that, so that's completely fine there. sir with the tag not returning uh, we need to figure out why it's not returning. Now, that being said, a few different reasons why that might be the case. Uh, but we're going to have to double check to make sure that, that this is good to go, get this uh, squared away in the system. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, let me turn the engine off. I don't want to waste fuel. Okay. All right, and on the rental documents here, sir, with the plate not returning, what I'll have to do is run it by the VIN or the vehicle identification number, okay? So all bill of all sales right. and uh, rental paperwork are required by the state to have that 17-digit VIN number attached to the paperwork, all right? So I'll take out my notebook here. You read me off that 17-digit VIN number. I'll run it by that VIN, and uh, we'll see if it returns, returns back to the plate, see if we can't get this squared away, all right? Whenever you're ready. I don't know. Yep. Dispatch David 13, 10, 23 with 309. Mm. He is. Uh, there's no VIN number on here, sir. 1636. It should be on there, sir. Double check it. If it's if it's not on there, then what you have there is uh, fraudulent paperwork. Okay. That every single rental agreement and and sale bill of sale is going to have the VIN number on that document, in case there is a problem with the plate, sir. Okay. Yeah. I think this guy might be all hopped yeah, up on I can't, meth. I can't find a spot where there's no number. It just says the plate here, the QEW 945, and that's about it. Okay. There's no other number there. I, well, it could be. I a, didn't know about that wind thing. It could be a problem with my system. So what I'll do here is I'll have the, this uh, deputy sheriff run it as well. If it's not returning on his system, then what we'll have to do here is pull the VIN off the vehicle and run it by the VIN that's stamped on the dash here, or on one of the parts beneath the frame. Okay. All right, sir. Okay, so sit tight. We'll be right back with you. Deputy, would you mind trying yes, that on your MDT and seeing if you can get a return on it? I'm not getting anything through my ALPR. No problem, Trooper. I appreciate that.
you do me a favor, Mr. White. Why don't you go ahead and step out, sir? Come on to the back of uh, your vehicle here. Yes, sir. And uh, just for your safety and ours, I'm going to place you uh, in handcuffs. You're not under arrest, sir. You're just being detained. All right? Yes, sir. Just place your hands behind your back, palms together like you are praying, sir. Yes, sir. All right, you don't have any weapons, anything like that on you, do you? Uh, I do. I have a pistol and a broken bottle. Okay, what do you use the bro broken bottle for? Uh, well, there was a beer bottle once, but earlier today I fell and I think it broke then, and I didn't really throw it away yet because I couldn't find a traffic, uh, traffic and trash can, sorry, at the dealership. Okay. So I just kept it in my pockets. Okay, dangerous move, keeping it in your pockets. You know what I mean? Could end up cutting up I some mean, of your gear. I mean, better than throwing it away on the streets. Yeah, fair enough. That's true. Fair enough. That is that is true, sir. Are you a little bit nervous? It sounds like maybe you're stuttering just a little bit. No, I just, for some reason, I said traffic because I was looking at the traffic here going by so fast and mm -hmm. instead of trash can. Okay, Mr. White. And traffic White. can just makes no sense. No problem at all. Okay, we're having that deputy double check it here. But that being said, honesty is the best policy, sir. Okay, if you have something to tell me, that will not hurt you. can only help you, you understand? I understand, sir. Okay, sit tight now. I mean, yeah, sir. Trooper, uh... Yes, sir. I, I checked it. I even I even double-checked it to make sure I was correct there. It's, it's coming back 1099. Okay, roger that. All right, Mr. White, so the plate is also not returned for this deputy, so we're going to have to grab the VIN numbers here and run it by the VIN, okay? All right, sir. You have a nice bike there, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I'm a big fan. Harley Davidson, man. Yes, sir. Big fan myself. I wish I could buy those, too, but they're not in stock. Oh, yeah? They didn't have them down at the car dealer? No, sir. Ooh. I bought the Damon. Next best thing, so to say. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss, bud. Man. That sneeze has cost this man some serious, some serious time. That sucks. Maybe I should let him know about the miracle of allergy medicine. You know what I mean? Like, I think all criminals are aware of it. Like, just so this kind of shit does not happen to them. They gotta, they gotta pick up that allergy medicine, keep from having the violent sneeze attacks that result in felony theft uh, charges. All right, sir, sit tight. Yes, sir. It's not like I can move anyways. <laughs> Probably for the best. <laughs> County dispatch True. 309. The only way I could move here would be on the highway, subject. and I would not want that. One subject detained. We're attempting to process the vehicle. It's acquired the VIN now. Temple. Okay, so obviously the VIN's going to return as a stolen. QEW 945 is going to be on the hot sheet. Now, he said he went down to the car dealership and picked this son of a bitch up for a test drive that cost him three grand. So yesterday, if y'all saw the guy with the IROC Z was saying that he rented it for a day for three grand, this dude right here got capital F fucked by some rental agency, quote unquote, who's, who's charging this man three grand to test drive a car he ain't even renting what in the fuck is going on like what was this guy gonna do with that rented car test drive like kill like six prostitutes how many dead prostitutes were in the trunk one two three four five six six dead prostitutes all right mr white Bad news, sir. Yes, sir. The VIN on this vehicle oh, no, is going to match, but it's going to return as a 99 vehicle on the hot sheet, sir. So this is going to be a stolen vehicle. Uh, what's a nine? Okay. Okay. Oh, it's that's reported stolen out of the strawberry area. So that's the reason. The, right. the plates you have here are going to be uh, fraud, fraudulent plates. Okay. So they're not returned from the DMV because they're made to look like real plates, but they, they're not returning to anything. So you're going to be in possession of a stolen Should vehicle. Should I say anywhere I can spot that? 
Yeah, there There's is a way. I can spot that as a you. There absolutely okay. is a way. I'm going to walk you through it, okay? Before I do that, though, I'm going to give you your Miranda right. warning before I ask you any questions, all right? So you understand completely that... Yes, sir. We're not out here at a fun barbecue having having uh, having social time, okay? We're at work. So anything you tell us is going to be because we're doing our job, all right? So you have the right to remain silent. Yes, sir. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you at no cost by the state. You have the right to have your attorney present during questioning. You have the right to invoke this right at any point in time. You understand these rights as I've read them to you, sir? Yes, I do, sir. All right, fantastic, sir. So you told me first that you rented the car, and then you told me that you, you picked the car up for $3,000 for a test drive over near the car dealership. Is that correct? Yeah, it's like, I mean, isn't that a rental if it's test drive? Well, first off, Mr. White, just you, you can take the yes, the yeah, and the, and the nose, and the sups, and the dudes, etc. You can bundle them all up, and you can just kick those sons of bitches right into the sun. Okay, we're out here at work, right, so I'm yes, sir, sir, no, sir, Trooper Thompson, or deputy. Okay, that's it. All right, sir. All right, so here's where we're at. Okay, now if you're telling me you're taking a test drive, that means that that you have not yet transacted the rental, and yet you did say you already paid three thousand dollars, right? So it ain't being rented yes, yet, because uh, it's a test drive, which... I mean, it was a test drive, sir, because uh, I was interested in buying the car, the Sultan. Okay. And he said, I asked for a test drive, but he said, uh, I can't do that for free. So I so I asked what oh. price, and he said, a tenth of the price. So that would be 3000 I was like, tenth of the price, okay, that's... that's to take the test drive then, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, that's very irregular. All right, it's also very odd for you to get paperwork for a test drive, okay? Because what you were showing me was pe rental paperwork, but it did not have the correct information on it, okay? I mean, I don't really understand the whole rental and test uh, test drive thing, so I didn't know that was irregular because usually I just... The only cars I own is a bike and a Camaro, and I never had to think twice about buying those because okay. they're just amazing vehicles. You understand when you ask me though, is there a way to is there a way to spot this? The most common way is going to be common sense, okay? Like maybe you just don't have the ex the experience, but what you're looking at here is a man who presented you with paperwork that doesn't have the correct information on this vehicle. You're being charged three thousand dollars for a test drive on a vehicle you may want to be buying. Deputy, you can clear for that if you want to clear for that. I got this. Uh, so you see what I'm saying? Like, you're, a whole bunch of red flags should have popped up yeah, regarding the vehicle. So it makes me feel like maybe you did know that something was a little bit off, being an adult man and having some common sense about you. Unit back. Uh, that you may have known that something was off with this vehicle. You may be up to some other nefarious shit, sir. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of things that are not adding up. Dispatch is asking for a unit to back due to the nature of the call. Yeah, I mean... I thought it was a good deal, sir, but now that you mention it, I mean, I, I didn't even know the VIN number exists, to be honest. I I just I just knew about the plates, and I checked the plates of the paper you gave me, and they, mm -hmm. they fit, but I guess you could just write any number on the on the rental paper then again. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay, Still sir. Paying further so this is what we're going to do, Mr. Wyatt. At this point in time, sir, you're going to be placed That's under cool. arrest for possession of a stolen vehicle, okay? Like I said, I think there's a lot of things that are very odd about the paperwork and the situation. I don't know about any test drive unless it's a fucking Lamborghini or some shit like that where they're going to take three grand off the top just so you can test drive the car and hold it. You know what I mean? Most test drives, even a very expensive vehicle, is going to take a major credit card, a ID, and then there's going to be a guy that accompanies you on the, on the test drive. You're out here by yourself in a stolen vehicle with fraudulent paperwork, okay? Now, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I ain't going to charge you with obstruction. And supplying false information, but I'm warning you, sir, do not continue to do business with this company, okay? If I catch you All in right, another sir. similar car, it's going to be pretty goddamn obvious that giving you the benefit of the doubt was the wrong move, you understand? Yes, sir. David All right, then. statement is going to be located in a parking garage. The incident's not taking place there. We're trying to obtain further this time. Do you have anything sharp on you, sir? Any uncapped hey, needles, knives, razor blades, throwing stars, anything like that? Uh, only the broken bottle in my white vest pocket. Oh, damn. And the gun in my on my right side, but that's okay. about it. And you're carrying ten thousand three hundred ninety-six dollars on you. Yes, sir. Does that strike you as an odd amount of cash for a, a gentleman to be carrying around on him? I mean, it was. I didn't know how much you wanted for the uh, for the test drive. First, I wanted to go just buy the bike. Mm-hmm. Another bike because my bike 
tends to break down for whatever reason. Like, it, it's a trick, and it's gone. Mm -hmm. uh, so, at first I just wanted to uh, buy another bike, but then I thought about it, and so, I don't have a four door car. Ago, we did see the I only have the mountain car. I need a four door car. Right right so, I'm just kidding. He's just rambling. So, he's just talking, and talking, the bike talking, talking. It cost 10,000, so I took 30,000. We're taking 30, notes. 000. This entire time. So, I have 10,000 for the bike and 3,000. It breaks down again because the uh, this, a normal expenses. person who was not guilty of something would not answer like that. I mean, he is so nervous that he's just, he'd tell me anything. All right, sir, what is it you do for work? Uh, I own a repair shop down in Mesa, uh, Mesa Arena, down south, Autopia Parkway. Okay, so, so you own a repair shop, but you did not know the VIN numbers exist, sir? No, sir, I only recently acquired the repair shop of my deceased father. I, uh, I'm sorry for the... your loss, sir. Mr. White, do you, you see sir. all he these inconsistencies, all the... sir, that are, that are starting to run up into each other? You own a repair shop. Your father apparently owned it before you. You've been around vehicles your whole life, it would seem. You didn't know the VIN numbers exist. You're in possession of a stolen here. You're carrying an abnormal amount of, of cash on you, sir. You stopped on the side of the road with dead plates. Do you see all these flags that are starting to pop up here, sir? Am I making a mistake by yes, giving sir. you the benefit of the doubt, Mr. White? Are you trying to be dishonest with me, sir? Because if so, I will take it as no, a personal sir. insult and smash you like a fucking bug. You understand? I understand, sir. All right, Mr. White. Do not let me find you doing this shit again. I catch you off the reservation again with a car like this, and I'm going to remember this, sir, from now until the earth spinning on its axis and rotating into the fucking sun. Okay? Honesty is the best policy. Yes, sir. Sometimes you're the bug, and sometimes you're the windshield, sir. That don't mean I'm you getting, have to insult uh, my intelligence by lying to me, all right? False alarm. I have a, I have a saying, so, uh, be the you know, I never snitch only on myself uh, if it's to save me, save me trouble, you understand? Ten four. So, when I get stopped, and I know that I've done some illegal shit or something, so I haven't now, but if I know that I, I have, and I know the officer gonna find out, then mm. I'm just gonna tell the officer right, right there, because it saves me trouble, saves the officer trouble, and I might get a little bit of lean way with the, uh, bill or the jail time mm -hmm. so i try to be cooperative so i appreciate that mr white and your record looks good so i mean i guess this is the first time you've been caught running drugs huh uh i have not been running drugs sir oh okay i thought that's what you, you told me <laughs> uh, no i did not sir oh i have it in the notes i must have bled them together here uh, uh i have never mentioned the word drugs sir Oh, okay. I thought you just said drugs. <laughs> no, I just said all illegal stuff. I didn't say drugs. I am sorry, Mr. Wyatt. Some t you know, we all make errors. You know what I'm saying? So maybe maybe this wasn't you right yes, here, I but it has, I have drugs here underlined twice. Two two lines. Two little lines underneath it. Might have been someone else, sir. All right, I'm thinking so. All right, sir. Enjoy your time up at state prison. I believe tonight being Thursday, it is Thirsty Thursday night. All the cocktails oh, you can drink, mean? sir. Uh, why was the pronunciation so hard on the cock? I have no idea how hard cocks, etc., whatever question that is, sir. That'd be something to take up with the boys up at state prison. Okay, enjoy happy hour. Make sure you get plenty of cock. Tails up there and uh and say hello to the boys all right 309 county dispatch request an immediate 1091 transport to bolenbrook state prison for a medium security inmate going to be a number two male six feet tall 180 pounds wearing a leather biker jacket gray button-up shirt black jeans black biker boots sock hat going to be northbound los santos freeway at the sonora interchange near palomino later on dude all right, all right, all right. Starting off strong. We're starting off strong, family. Almost caught old boy with the drugs. <laughs> Do y'all hear that? Like the hesitation when I was like, hey, this is the first time you've been caught running drugs? He was like, uh, and like started panicking. He didn't know. He didn't know if he'd said that shit. He didn't know if he had said it. <laughs> Good on him, man. He was, he was struggling there for a minute. County Dispatch 309 Motor, you can mark me back at service. That was funny. He was getting nervous as hell. Oh, what do you do for work? I own a repair shop. Oh, you, you didn't know that VIN numbers exist? Uh. 
Dang it. <laughs> so anybody knows anything about VIN numbers and cars, etc. The VIN numbers are stamped all over the parts of the car so that if the car's stolen and parted out, and, and also motorcycles, if it's stolen and parted out, which is very common, you can still track those stolen parts back to the vehicle using the vehicle identification number. So for somebody to own a repair shop and not be not understand about vehicle identification numbers would be exceedingly odd. There's almost every part they install, order, etc. I mean, you're going to be dealing with that day in and day fucking out. So he was, uh, if we wanted to catch him in a jackpot, we probably could have. We probably could have done that. So there was a call that came out while we were busy. 451, hold me out at the park today with David Durkin. On a false, uh, 10 4 4 51 times 10 could be 16 50 on a kidnapping or kidnapping in progress, something like that. And then county dispatch came over the, the net and said that it was going to be a false alarm, uh, possibly from the caller trying to, to manipulate the 911 system, which is not uncommon, uh, especially if that individual is working as a part of a team uh, to try to hit the banks or something like that. They'll call 911 and report some kind of heinous or violent crime to try to draw police resources away uh, from the area. So they're attempting to make contact with him uh, and try to identify the suspect. And if not, uh, the potential for something to happen in Palato or Pillbox goes up by a huge margin. And that being said, we have plenty of sheriff's deputies that are currently on shift. Where we're lacking is on the city resource side. So we're going to push down to where they're at, attempt to locate or attempt to assist them in locating this individual who dialed 911 from the parking garage and uh, try to maintain the presence in the city uh, for at least the foreseeable future so that uh, in case they do hit the bank, we'll be around. Did our siren get Stanley? Maybe it did. What in the fuck? Hey, little trooper. How you doing, Mr. Dankweed? Doing pretty good. Do you want to check out this guy, by the way? Yes, sir, I do. There was a sheriff that actually ran into him, and I, I he stopped across the road. A sheriff ran into and him? I, I, yeah, uh, I think it was Sheriff. Mr. Lombardi, ever, you know him? Oh, Deputy Lombardi was coming down here? Did Let's he have his Deputy emergency lights on? He did. He had him probably about 100 miles an hour. Okay. Did, where, did you see what happened, or did you come up after the fact, Counselor? Uh, I was coming into the city as he pulled around me 100 miles an hour, smashed into him. He fixed his car and went on his way. I think he was responding to a kidnapping. Oh, roger that. Okay. You okay? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with, I'm gonna have to go with no, hold on, sir, are um, you okay? Hold on, uh, sir, lay there hey. and say nothing if you're completely not okay at all. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, he's not responding to the pokes. It's not looking Listen, good, I wasn't counselor. Here if you weren't here. Hold on, all let right. me see if, uh. Let me see if one of the medic can come out here and check him. Oh, how convenient. I didn't even know this was here. Holy crap. Don't worry. We're, we're like 10 feet away from a hospital. It's going to be all right. Hey. Tap on the glass. Hey, Tap guys. I see somebody. They, I'm thinking they might know he's out here. I mean, Maybe. they have a DRT hey, guy just there? sitting here. Sitting here in the middle of the... Hmm. Very convenient spot. I mean, I mean I they think can at least was... harvest his organs, you know? Yeah, but who knows what we got going on here, you know what I'm saying? Like, he could be just yeah. all manner of gonorrhea and syphilis or whatever the hell else running through there, That's you know true. what I mean? Like, hey, I, hope... I figure we might be okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll come out here with a trash bag and a shovel and just kind of just... Yeah, you know that'll be mean? fine. Clean sure this up. <laughs> get the business get the business card under there. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy, if you, you know, if you wake up and need a lawyer... Hey, buddy. Buddy. Okay. Yeah, he, you know, if he wakes up. You know, up, he's probably sleeping. You can still hear stuff when you sleep, you know. Yeah. Like, I, definitely don't dream of spiders right now, man. Spiders all over your face. Don't oh, dream about shit. it. I think, really bad. I think he's definitely sleeping. Just, he's going to be sleeping for the rest of forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, the deep sleep. Yep. 
All right, then. Okay, but later on, sir, enjoy your sleep. In case you need a lawyer, there's a card here. Dante Dankweed, zombie lawyer. Mm hmm. Have you been giving people my card, Trooper Thompson? Because I've gotten I have. so many calls. Yes, sir, I have. I feel like. I feel like you just don't want to deal with their bullshit, so you put them off on me. Is that true? Uh, no, sir. I, I thought last when we had the conversation in your office, I told you that I'd, I'd do you that courtesy. Yeah, you, yeah, mm hmm. I just, some of these cases are quite interesting. I've been getting. Are you running up on. Interesting. Uh, where you're kind of. Are you booked up? Is that what it is? If so, I can stop handing them the cards. If, oh, if no, not. I'm not booked up yet. Um, okay. By the way, did you have an interaction with the Dimitri Bar Can you turn your siren off, possibly? Oh, can you hear it? I, I can't hear it. I think I got it's standing. so loud. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Is that better? All right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I can't hear it. It's been it. like a migraine. I apologize. You, uh, I can't hear did, it. Did you have an interaction with Dimitri Barkov, I think, yesterday or maybe today? Dimitri, yes, I do. Is he... Maybe the English is not just so good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it's like almost if like a Spanish meta Russian. Make it, yeah, yeah. Meta, meta stutter. Yeah. I, um, I was doing kind of the you, Mario. I was doing the Mario. They're like, it's me, a Dimitri. You know what I mean? Like, so I would, that wasn't yep. exactly what he sounded like. But, you know, I wanted to do a recognizable. Mm -hmm. Regardless, let's move on. All right. So, uh, yeah, I made yep. contact um, with him. Um, what was he arrested for? Do you remember? Yes, I do. So he was arrested uh, on city warrants out of the city police. I believe it was okay. Officer, Sa Officer Sabers. I'm oh, yeah, pretty, I know Sabres. Yes, sir. Officer Sabres. He had five felony warrants. I uh, believe okay, arson, well, be destruction of property, uh, kidnapping, attempt homicide, uh, fleeing and eluding. I, I believe, Counselor. I'm not sure. Uh, he turned himself in at Mission Road Station, uh, said that he attempted yep. to make contact with the city police, and he had an issue doing that. Uh, wanted to turn mm -hmm. himself in to clear them warrants. So I just executed the warrants on it. Uh, he had a whole bunch of questions, so I gave him your card at the kind of at the end there. Yeah. Um, and, and told him to make contact with you if he had questions on that, and then maybe you might be able to make contact with the city police on his behalf. You know what I mean? An armed robbery. Mm -hmm. Description's gonna be vague. No, that's perfect. Okay. That's, what, that's what, I'm, what the warrants are out for. I think he only thought he had one warrant, but when he had five, I think that was the the weird part there. Yeah, I cut him a, a break on it and and didn't uh, didn't find him either. Um, but without the city okay. being on, I don't even think we had a city officer on at the time. It was something where we had to push those warrants, and being felonies especially. Yeah. He was uh he was putting handcuffs before a great storm came through the city, so I think that's what he was trying oh, to. Oh, is that out. what it was too? Because he was also mentioning his yeah. car, but I had some difficulty with uh with the English. I don't. It didn't seem like he was oh, understanding yeah. at one hundred percent. So. All right. All right. Well, that's all I really need right now. If I need to get more information, I'll call Hack three one one or something. Okay, counselor, and you can call my number if you want. I'll be on shift uh for a while. We just right. came on, and uh, I believe Trooper Doyle as well. You can also call him if you need something. Oh, I definitely already talked to Trooper Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be. You're, are you going to be in a cruiser later today? Yeah, likely so. Uh, I did get your message before. It was uh, where I kind of got it after the fact. If so, if you want me to shoot you uh, a text, then uh, we could double up. You want to ride along a little bit, counselor? Yep. Trooper Doro turned me down for one, so you know, I'll be down for oh, did he? anything on later on. My man is cold as he ice. Said, he said that... He said I'd be an ambulance chasing. I'm handing out business cards to <laughs> people he's trying to arrest. And I mean, like, that... That might kind of be true, but yeah, at the he's same got time, a point. Don't don't know. give him. The, I have to give him the business card. You know, what you mean you can't be giving him the business card. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, like if I do I'll it, then that's one hundred. You know what I mean? All right. All right. Later All right, on. Carry counsel. on. Okay, so Doyle just cleared that that scene at the garage, uh, which probably means they either found who they were looking for, or uh, or they didn't find him and he went back in service. So that's annoying as fuck that somebody Stanley our siren. I, c I couldn't hear it. I can't hear the son bitch, but apparently, apparently other people can't hear it. That sucks. That sucks. Uh, I did see that five released uh, an update today. I did not check the patch notes, uh, so maybe they messed with something that, that broke something. Would not be surprised. Either way, we'll soldier on. Jesus Christ, these ads.
Waffle going with the the, the fucking what? the rainbow lawyer and ad. Wants to attract special clientele. I'm teasing. And uh, if any of y'all don't know, the other day, or I believe actually two days ago, was Waffles. Son of a bitch. A goddamn Regina. Why am I not surprised that you're driving a fucked up Regina station wagon, lady? Thanks a lot. Dick move. But a couple of days ago was Waffle's uh, four-year anniversary of having his uh, his button. Being four years of being a partner. So uh, congratulations to Waffle. Big, uh, big time. My man is big time. But uh, big, big stuff for him. So huge congratulations. Lots of love for the Waffle subs. You got any Waffle subs in here? Uh, big love to Waffle. Love, uh, love playing with him. He's a great dude. What in the fuck? Good news is we'll never lose this fucking guy. You can see his outfit from space. Two Hello, new Trooper. customs. Hey, how's it going, bud? Doing good. It's just in my mind, two little cars I have left. Uh, you have left? Did you right. sell your other ones off? No, it seems like the, the, the guy that uh, takes your cars when you park them uh, took them for a joyride or something because they're not there no more. Oh, shit. Did you uh, post on the, the government website and let them know about that? Not yet. Uh, I was going to do that after, you know, after, after a little bit of, you know, going around the city, see what's going on. Solid copy. Uh, but do remember to do that just because sometimes that can be a, a dangerous precursor of shit to come. You know what I'm saying? Like, first people start losing their cars and then stuff get, starts getting fucked up with the houses. And then before you know it, dogs and cats are friends, people that are at each other's throats, stabbing each other with tiny ass knives. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand that much. Gotta uh, be careful. It happened, it happened yesterday, but uh, when I came back today into the city... Uh, they're all there, so I didn't think much of it when it happened yesterday. I just, you know, didn't have time to to go onto the government forums. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. But well, I'll report that. Time to see you, trooper. How you doing, Mr. Reed? Uh, being 100% rehabilitated. Sounds good, sir. That sounds really good. I'm glad you are back amongst the living, 100% rehabilitated. He is not 100% rehabilitated yet. Not at all. Looks like Mr. Reed might have picked up a fresh new pair of skinny jeans for himself. He must be having a sale at the Hot Topic. We'll have to let everybody know. Hurry on down. Pick up a new pair of, of skinny jeans half off. I saw somebody in the chat uh, saying, where's Lyric? I don't know. Lyric doesn't check in with me on his day off. So it's a, it's a little bit odd because one at first would say, well, that must be a Lyric sub. But then any Lyric sub would know that today is his day off. So he's you know, probably doing what it is that he do on his day off. Whatever the fuck he wants, I would assume. So it's kind of like that, that scene, Talladega Nights. Like, how do you like to envision your lyric? You know what I mean? What is? How do you see your lyric on his day off? You know? I prefer my lyric wearing, uh, like, one of those tuxedo T-shirts. You know what I mean? He's got long hair. He's listening to, to Skinner, and he's, like, in the front fucking row. You know what I mean? And he's fucking digging it. You know? He's got, like, his fidget spinner and maybe one of his cats. Not both. But maybe like one of his cats with him. You know what I mean? Maybe he's got no move. And they're both just rocking out the Skinner drunk as shit. Crazy. Absolutely. You know what I mean? That's how I like oh, it. Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, Hans, I mean, I, mean I, I don't want to be that guy, you know, but it might be time, you know, for that cat scan. Cat scan? Got a 911 call coming in. 
Any available unit in the area, Sustancia Road in the Palomino Highlands District. Respond to a 911 call, reference unknown trouble. RP is going to be a Zach McLean. Spelling of the first going to be Zebra Adam Charles. Spelling of the last going to be Mary Adam Charles. Lincoln Edward Adam Nora. Unit to handle, identify, and respond. Code 2. David 13. David 13 to uh, show you responding. Timestamps could be 1707. Anyway, you know, so that's how, that's how I like my... David 13 from County Dispatch. David 13. 1017 on the call. He's going to be uh, advising 43. He'd like to report his vehicle stolen. Uh, it's a dark red in color Range Rover. Uh, no additional detail from the RP. We'll advise you'll make contact that area. 10 4. 451 Dispatch. Can we get a time frame on the 99? 10 4, stand by one. Uh-oh, somebody was hanging out with somebody's girl and she was fucked up last night. I made it, uh, I left it in the Mega Mall parking lot and made a long delivery to Palato. When I got back, it was gone. License plate EHA682. Mega Mall parking lot, huh? This is going to be the fourth car we had stolen out of the Mega Mall parking lot, y'all. Counting the ones we had put in yesterday. That's, this is going to be the fourth one. Two Range Rovers now, a Porsche, and a, a 69 Camaro SS 350 short block. Hmm. I'm so ready for the weekend. I'm tired of selling dream houses to billionaires and celebrities. Oh, how ready for the weekend are you? These hoes ain't loyal. Yep, there's Zach McLean, all right. Hmm. 207 Sonora Way. Wonder what the fuck he was doing down all the way on Sustancia Road. That didn't make any sense. So he made the 911 call on Sustancia. He's over here. Sustancia in the Palomino Highlands area. The fuck is he doing all the way over here? His ass done. He has lives way the fuck over here. This this is where he lives at. Hmm. Making a delivery. Why are they going with that dumbass delivery story? The delivery lot's up here. If you're going to park and make deliveries, your del your car will be parked up here by the delivery lot. Obviously, they're down there doing some shit. I wonder who's stealing their cars, though. Maybe it maybe it's the game. You know what I mean? It could be they get they're getting Stanley. Like Stanley's walking up from behind him, he's like, Phew! and like then they, he just goes to work stealing their cars and doing all of his shenanigans as Stanley do. Uh, but if somebody is stealing cars over there, how brilliant! He figures, oh, he's going to wait till they do the dope runs and then they're going to steal their car and hide that shit. That's some shit I would do. If I was a criminal, I would do that shit. Hello? That would be smart. Instead of kidnapping the people and having to deal with all that bullshit, you just kidnap the cars. That'd be smart as fuck. I hope somebody's doing that. That'd be really fun. That'd be fun to try to run that shit down. That's somebody being smart as fuck. Oh. CEO. CEO. How did. Coel? CEOL. It's like, you are a criminal. You stole my heart. Stop it, you smooth son of a bitch. Jesus. How's anybody else supposed to get laid with you being smooth as fuck out here? Hmm? Save some for the rest of us, buddy. What the fuck? Oh wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of them. I think that's why he's so fired up. He's got he's got his steel reserve. Yo, y'all have me all for fucking He's threatening people. That's a lot. That would be a hell of a that'd be a hell of a fist fight or a gun battle or whatever that would turn into. That's like ten dudes. And then this guy's got his bear. 
Got his bear out. Okay. Don't mind me. Jesus. Fucking Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. They're getting started early. Did y'all see that hilarious ass Steel Reserve commercial? <laughs> that Quantum did? The commercial itself was fucking hysterical, just by itself. And then he added in that piece that we did, and it was fucking hilarious. KBF 938. Mr. Reed. 100% rehabilitated, huh, Mr. Reed, you son of a bitch? Dispatch David 13. This is code 6 in the area. Okay, this is not as suspicious. Because he actually lives in the area. Temple. It's 1713 hours. A little weird that he has off road tires on it. Any available in the area, Alta Street in the Pillbox Hill District, respond to a 911 call reference unknown trouble. RP is going to be a Bo Rat Johnson. Spelling of the first is going to be Boy Ocean Robert Adam Tom. Spelling of the last is going to be John Ocean Henry Nora Sam Sam Ocean Nora. Unit to handle, identify, and respond. Code 2. 451. 309 motor. 451 from County Dispatch 43. Be advised, 1017 on the call is going to be advising a gunfight and a stabbing. Possible uh, going to be subjects down that area. We are requesting medical and PD. 309 Motors also going to be in route. David 13 is in route. David 13, I need to use a card. 451, I'm in the area. Step back, what? step back, what step back. No more talking. Oh. 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 Gentlemen, don't leave. Uh, Just step uh. over there to my 12 if you could. I appreciate y'all cooperating. Clay, 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 this. Brown Clay, 309, 40. Oh. This might be the boy from so, earlier. Oh. Solid copy. Clay, this. It's all right, mate. What's going on, guys? Clay, you do me a favor, Clay. sir. Just stand right here. Uh, do not move, all right? This oh. gentleman uh, just got stabbed. Right. Roger um, that, troopers up. Okay, let me grab my bike. Hold pressure. You have your ID on you, boss? Uh, yep. No, will do. Uh, just cover all the pocket for you. Solid copy. Okay, Mr. Marshall, just sit tight. Yep, no problem. Can do. So, Doyle's gonna be the RA. Uh, he was in Beyonce. He got here real quick. Uh, we're gonna help him manage the scene. We'll take IDs and help him control all the, all the people that... 451, we're gonna have two down with conscious response to three in person visual adult number two male. Uh, you better stop sneaking around that. like that before I kick you in the fucking side of the head. You hear me? What's with the attitude, sir? I was a witness What's here. with I the saw, attitude? Like, What's with shit? you skulking yeah, around behind know. the bushes like you hold have a on. gun or something like that? That's a great way to get hurt. Sir, 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 you're free Quick to pat me down if you want. I don't have anything. Mr. I'm Johnson, a driver and nothing else. If you're else. a witness, go over there and sir. stand next to that gentleman in the brown coat like an adult man. Do not skulk around the bushes like you're going to pop over the top of that with a gun. The man with the brown jacket, sir, over there. Over there, the way I'm facing. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, over here, Bora. Over here. Oh, damn it. You're all right, Mr. Wait, White. Just hang tight, tight okay? Gonna You're going to be fine. You know, and, and, you know. Here, let me help you up. Come on, come on. Okay. Anybody uh, else see what happened? Come over here with me, Bob. Yeah, we're all here. Okay, I mean, will y'all do me a favor? Go to the other side of the tow truck, stand next to the wall, the gentleman in the brown jacket, sit tight. Yep, no worries. All right, Trooper. Appreciate it, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. You guys know what happened. happened. Uh, so he asked me, I'm a country music artist, and he's going to ask me to do a song for him. And he came All over right, and sir. said, do you want to sing for me? And he said, I'm having All a right, knock sir, party, happened? and he stuck it in me. Yeah, I was a part of it, sir. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, Mr. Masters, would you do me a favor, sir, and just stand over there next to the low wall by the bush? All right, and I'll be over there in a hot minute. Yes, sir. Oh, man, sir. 
the other individual what, in the where sweater you're at? demanded him to sing. Oh, oh, my, Probably the same individual that uh, attempted an armed robbery of him earlier today. Okay. Yeah, he said Temple. snitches get did, uh, snitches. Did he say what the guy in the sweater was trying to make him sing? <laughs> Oh, a country up. song. He wanted me to sing a song to. He's... All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try and stand yeah, you up well, here. Well, I sing about like my dog dying and my no, wife no, leaving. No, no, no. So that's the only of the words. Do you got some volume? So Solid yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I didn't see uh, what happened. No, sir, exactly. I'm not, I just heard no medical know, professional. I that's, that's not my thing. Came out of the car, you know, and then I saw that, someone that. shoot someone, you know, and then I just yeah, fucking yoloed it, you know. Crazy. Yeah, man. No pain Quiet afternoon turns yeah. to the worst. Turns into an oh, yeah. absolute oh, yeah. fucking yeah. shithole. Oh, no, why don't we start with uh, oh, yeah. with you, okay, Mr. Johnson? That, that's going to be uh, you, correct? Oh, yeah, you said sure. that you call. Wait, all right, well, step over here. Man. Rest of you gentlemen, just sit tight, okay? All right, do me a favor, sir, just uh, yes. with your okay, inside right. voice. Why don't you give me just a brief rundown of what happened? Be as descriptive yes, as possible, sir, yeah. all right? Yes, sir. I was uh, fixing my tow trucks. I was laying under it, and uh, then I heard that something was going on, so I uh, popped out, and uh, I see one of the guys uh, shooting the other guy, and that's when I ran away, you know. That's why I was so scared, trying to hide behind the bushes, because I'm not sure who had the gun or whatever, you know. It all went so fast, so mm -hmm. I ran away there, uh, over there, behind the building, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, basically called you guys, you know. I, I didn't know what was going on. I just w knew that there was shit going down here, you know. Yeah. Did you see who had the gun? No, 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 I just ran away. It went so quickly, you know. I, ju okay. I just called you guys because I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you did say you heard the shots. Is that why you, you need to call oh, now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. How many shots did you hear? Oh, yeah, I was... I was. Hey, man. Just one, sir. Okay, you only heard a single single shot. Yes, sir. And who... Did you see who yeah. was down afterwards? Like, when you were running away? Obviously, they probably would have been screaming, and you probably would have heard them fall. No, no, so no, I, I, truck. I just ran away. Okay, Mr. Johnson. I was laying let, under Mr. the Mr. Johnson, let's be, yep. let, I'm going to be honest with you, sir. Okay, you be honest with me. Yep. I'm not a fool. Yep. It's not my first shooting scene. Okay, when I drove by earlier, oh, I did see not, you sir. underneath your truck working. All right? We found yep. two yep. gentlemen down about three and mm -hmm. five feet from where you were laying down working, respectively. There's yes, no sir. way that you crawled yep. out from under the truck and then sprinted away and and didn't see either of these two gentlemen down. One of these gentlemen was down at the time no, 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 when no, you no, ran no. away, sir. They were down. They were down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct, sir. The, um, uh, I, I guess the guy that's uh, uh, talking to the other officer now was uh, was one of them uh, closest uh, to me uh, being down at least. When okay, I was so away. the old ass man in the sweater yeah. is who you're talking about. Or are you talking about the fellow in the, in yeah, the yeah. cowboy hat? No, no, the the guy in the. Um, I, I think his name is Cletus. Okay, so the fellow in the cowboy hat's name is Cletus. He was the one who was down first, oh, and yeah. then the old man was still up and mobile. Yes, sir. When you were when you started running, you yeah. didn't, and you didn't see who shot him. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Okay. You have your ID on you, sir. Oh yeah. Over there. Let me. Yeah, stand by one. I'm talking to the initial 911 caller now. He's saying that he's working on the tow truck. Uh, he heard a commotion. Sir. And, and ran away. All right, Mr. Johnson, sit tight. He ran away after yep. uh, hearing the commotion, and when he was running away, he saw Cletus down first, and uh, that old man, Saeed, was still up and mobile when he started running, but then uh, somebody pulled out a gun and clipped old Saeed. And I also talked to Mr. Uh, Mathis. He said he was involved. I'm guaranteeing Matthew, Mathis is going to be the shooter on White, and uh, White is going to be the, the fellow who stabbed um, Buford. All right, Mr. Johnson, do me a favor, sir. Just hang tight with these other gentlemen, and I'll be right back yep. with you. Thank you. All right, sir. Yep, thank you. So the forensic evidence chat's going to match. Um, and what we got here is a situation where we're finding two bodies going to be very close proximity to this guy's tow truck, which we did see uh, him working on it. Uh, it's going to be this, the statement we got from the Vic is that the gentleman in the sweater is going to be Mr. White, demanded that this gentleman sing a country song to him. Country song as of yet undetermined. 431 just uh, additional time, 431. I did roll up on the scene, and number one male was saying, I couldn't just let you leave. Right, solid copy. I think that's going to be our actor in terms of the shooter. All right, Mr. Mathis, will you come with me over here for the a minute, knife. sir? Yes, sir. Yeah, I got a confession. Yeah, I was, because uh, I didn't White see, like, I wasn't, like, solid sure copy, what boys. happened, one actually, because tie up this, I'm questioning Mathis now. Do you mind switching to your inside voice, sir? 
Not a problem, sir. It's on. Hi, right, Mr. Mathis. So, what we got so far, sir, I'm going to tell you what I know, and then I'm going to ask you for just a brief summation of what you may have seen, all right? Okay. Yes, sir. So, what we got here so far is that uh, old boy was working on his tow truck. Everybody was kind of hanging out. Everything was peaceful. Mr. White shows up in his uh, sweater vest, has uh, back and forth with Mr. Beaufort, starts requesting that Mr. Beaufort serenade him with the country version of It's Raining Men. Mr. Beaufort refuses. Mr. White pulls out a, a foot-long pig sticker, sticks Mr. Beaufort with it, starts talking shit. You remove a 9 millimeter handgun, you shoot one time, striking Mr. White. Okay, now do you want to tell me exactly yes, what sir. happened, sir? Yes, I'll, I'll tell you everything, sir. I ain't, got, I ain't got no reason to bullshit you, sir. All right, send it. So I was coming down from Benny's. I just was fixing up my car down there, the Chino, the green car with the gold rims. I was coming back down the street. Now, when I come down, I see the man in the green sweater. I see them standing out there. They've been standing out there all day. So I seen, I heard Cletus. I heard him talking. As soon as I get there, I see Cletus. Uh, as soon as I, I, I'm, like, pulling up, I see Cletus, you know, down on the ground. And I see this man with the green sweater with a knife out. So I go to the park. I go park right here in front of the Banner Hotel because I don't know what the hell is going on. For one, I don't want him to stab anyone else if he's on a fucking, you know, murder spree. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want him to stab any of the, the people standing there. And two, I don't want him to run away. Right. I don't think I don't think he. I think he. I think he was going to flee the scene. To be honest, if no one pointed a gun at him or tried to stop him or anything. So mm -hmm. I go park down there. I go, I come run up. I point my gun at him to stop him because I feel like, like I said, he was going to leave the scene. Maybe get someone to call 911 and get someone out here. I have my gun pointed at him. He decides to swing on me. So in self-defense, I... in I, his hand? No, he did not, sir. He he had his hands out at that point. Okay. But like I said, hey, I wanted Nippy, to... Let me talk I wanted, to you. He lunged he like at you to, and was swinging his fist. And yes, sir. At that time is when you shot him? Yes, sir. He, he, can, he hit me once. After that, I Got decided him. to shoot, uh, you know, put him down, sir. Got him. Fair enough, sir. Did you actually see the stabbing, or were you pulling up as that was occurring, or just after it occurred? As, like I said, I pulled up at, at, shortly after it was occurring. I see Cletus on the ground. I see people, I hear people, you know, freaking out, tripping out, you know, about what happened. And like I said, I I, I wanted to get over there and see what was going on. Uh, I saw him down. I saw him standing in front of. I caught a glimpse of him standing in front of Cletus before he Cletus went down. I didn't get to see the weapon that he had on him or anything. Okay. Like I said, he was standing in front of Cletus, and Cletus went down. So, like I said, I want I want the park come over to the scene, and that's when I saw him, and I okay. pulled my gun. I wanted to stop him. Okay, you did the he right said thing, something Mr. Matthews. Just so you know, sir, you're not in trouble. Okay, being it's reasonable yes, to be in fear of your life when someone who has just stabbed somebody else. You instruct them not to leave and wait for the police, and then they lunge at you in a threatening manner. It's reasonable for someone to assume that they may be the next person stabbed, sir. Okay, so you're not yes, sir. in any trouble for defending yourself. Okay, you did you did the right thing, contact 911. You didn't go nowhere. You gave your statement. You're going to be good to go. Okay, so I appreciate your cooperation. Now, do you still have the firearm that you used, and, and how many times did you discharge it, sir? Uh, I think I shot about four times to put him down, sir. I'm not gonna lie. I did. I might. It might have been excessive force, but like I said, he he wouldn't go down. So I used, mm -hmm. you know, about four rounds to put in him before did he. Did you remember went striking down. him? Did you strike him in the arm, the torso? Uh, I shot. I shot him in, in the torso area. Uh, okay. He was. He was facing towards me, like he was in. You know, like he was about to flee, or he he had plans to run away. Obviously, I have a gun. If anyone would try to flee, if they, you know, had a gun pointed at him, so I shot him in his torso. I didn't. I didn't. You know, obviously, I don't want to kill the man, but I do. I did want to at least disable him, you know, if anything. Yes, sir. Just put him down until you guys got here and can, can handle the situation. Not to mention, he was saying things, calling Mr. Cletus a snitch. Uh, I heard that clearly. He was calling him a snitch, and that's something along the line about being a snitch. Uh, I did have a situation with him earlier uh, where, he, where he did kidnap me. Uh, I was in his vehicle. He wanted. He was looking for Mr. Dankweed. A gun was pulled on me after I did, failed to cooperate mm. with his uh, his motives of going for Mr. Dankweed. I told him I had no problems with Mr. Dankweed, and he pulled a gun on me in his vehicle. He was driving a different vehicle at the time. He was driving the Sand King, and we ended up having a situation where he tied my tied me in my hand to the door handle. He took my gun and he took. He didn't take my phone, and uh, I was able to. He was talking to Mr. Dankweed. He pulled a gun out and knife. 
I heard some dialogue of them talking while I was in the car. Uh, I was able to talk to Cletus. I told him, I told him not, I was telling him what was going on, but I told him not to contact 911 because I didn't want the situation to escalate. And if the man saw lights or police sirens, he might have took it to another level. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to inform him of what was going on. Um, he had a situation with Mr. Dangweed. He took me back to the city and he drove off after that. But none of this was fired by that situation. He was looking for was it Dante or Shaggy? There's two Dankweed. It was Dante. I'm trying to grab him. It was, uh, it was Dante. Roger that. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mathis. If you do me a favor, sir, just keep hanging out. You're good to go. Uh, if you have your ID, sir, so I can make sure that I'm spelling of your name for the report, I'd be appreciative of that. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Let me go get it right now. All right, I appreciate Dispatch, that, Mr. Matthews. David 13, 1076, Mission Row PD, with yes, 195. David 13 from 309. Will you do me uh, one quick favor, sir, and hold him at Mission Row? I believe 451 and myself have follow-up. 451, 309, he's direct. He knows what I'm working on. Hey, boss man. Hey, brother. Oh, can 34. You hear me? Keep going. Yep, 35. Yeah, I can hear you. All right, do you want to uh, have a quick powwow about the intel I just got off of Mr. Mathis here? It's going to tie up uh, that previous 911 uh, and kind of tie yeah, together Yeah, and then I'll talk activities. to this guy. Ms. Dank, would you mind hanging out real fast? I need to talk to you <laughs> as well. Hanging yeah, out. Fine. I see what you did there. Uh, uh, 40. <laughs> he did that. 42. Did oh, my God. Got him. 43. This got him. Oh, wow. This right, is so keep fun. Keep going. I'll tell you what, Mr. Dank, if you need some time to work out, sir, I could probably 45. arrange for that. This ain't no gym. Stop acting like 23. a fool. 23, Mission Row PD. Oh. Sorry, sir. I'm just trying to get my daily reps in. Yeah, I know a place where there's Ooh. some unused weights and equipment and stuff up at State fucking Prison, Counselor. That that some bitch is strong though. One, Yo, he I know. Did, you like, see him one hand there? Onesies. You see him one hand that yeah, while, that's while he was pointing? That's a 10 0 around him, man. Damn. He's rough. <laughs> yeah, you ain't wrong. So, yeah, um, from earlier, I don't have much with the Dante incident. So, but, I got uh, everything because that's how good C I am. Cletus, Cletus definitely suffered a uh, attempted armed robbery at the bank prior to this from that individual. Mm hmm. So. We got those. We got two separate instances on top of this one, yeah. where that was attempted armed robbery, display of a firearm, branch. He said he ran out because he yep. saw it. Well, we're going to take his weapon. Um, CCT so, from the bank. This is also going to match modus operandi for Mr. White. I've also jailed him for attempt kidnapping twice in the past. Uh, last time I had contact with him on something like this, he was going to be. Let's see here. Just off of, I believe, Mirror Park. Uh, maybe a correction might be Popular Street uh, but in that neighborhood there he had abducted two females in a sand king uh, he demanded that they participate in some kind of fucking ransom scam when that shit went tits up uh, he stabbed one and then fled on foot and then was struck by a, uh, an Adam Ida in the street and I ended up making contact with him reference that now the story I'm getting from Mr. Mathis is it Mr. White's rolling around the same goddamn Sand King looking to kidnap Mr. Dankweed, Dante. And uh, when he couldn't make contact with Mr. Dankweed is when he kind of moved on to the secondary option, started uh, started giving old Cletus here kind of the strong arm. And then uh, Cletus, I guess, had called 911. Somebody had tipped the hat to Mr. White that that had happened. Mr. White came here with the purpose of confronting Mr. Buford regarding him calling 911 was calling him a snitch and everything before it led up to the, the song request and then the stabbing here. And then Daquan already admitted that he was the one who pulled uh, his handgun out and he shot Mr. White four times in the torso, arm, upper chest area um, after, uh, after the stabbing had already occurred. All right, yeah, so we need to hammer this dude home. I got a yep. good written statement from Cleus about this incident. I can get one about the bank also if you want. So you want to go down to Mission Row and work uh, Saeed for a hot minute? Yeah, I'll start, get... I'll start chiming in, Tim. I got uh, 13 should be laying statements. I hope that man ain't questioning him and fucking it up. I told him to lay statements of all the facts we got. Did we Mirandize him just in case? These sons of bitches are on the fucking cusp of disorderly. He, he said he Mirandized them. Look at these bastards. Anybody who wants to go to jail for disorderly conduct nag like a goddamn idiot, point and do one-handed push-ups. 
Oh, we got pretty two goddamn tankers. close. Yeah, I mean, it pretty much you could tell right there. I don't even know what they're Anybody doing. who I wants to go to jail, push keep doing push ups and pointing around like a fool. They're basically asking us or begging us at this point. knife and was like oh, saying oh. shit to him which is fucking ridiculous gentlemen what hello the fuck fellas are doing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how's it going was i unclear in any way mr dankweed about this not being a gymnasium oh. sir and exercising i'm whatever sorry else? what if somebody comes what around the corner me? here doesn't see you two down here playing tummy sticks runs y'all both the fuck over and causes some kind of other incident sir your borderline <laughs> disorderly conduct counselor what from that ramp over there yeah that there ramp right there point again that would be their fault, wouldn't it? They didn't see us. That clearly, they weren't paying attention. How is it reasonable fault. for a person to see you when you're down below the wall exercising in a place where it ain't common to exercise, sir? Wouldn't be a driver. So you're saying if someone recklessness, that yeah, okay, be you so... behaving in a reckless way? No, 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 no. Wait, what? So if a driver came up that ramp right here and he hit a pedestrian okay, because he didn't see them, no, that he is totally the driver's hey, fault. Uh, adjust your adjust your ears, bud. You still got him. Oh, I did. Yeah. I did. You can't hear him, Mr. Dank. We talk no, again. I got nothing. Uh, if a, if a, you know, if a car came up that ramp and hit a pedestrian. Maybe Give me favors. Keep, t keep talking. Do you think so? Keep talking, sir. Yeah. I'm going to test something real quick. Okay. Keep talking. Okay. Mm -hmm. If a, uh, if a, if a, you know, if a driver. That seems like it's working. Did they break? Did they break it? Hang on. Let's touch tips. You want to touch uh, tips with me? I don't know, Dua. I think they might have broke the. The far outside hearing? I can't hear him outside of maybe yeah. 10. Mm -hmm. I think they broke. Mr. Dank, will you do me a favor, sir, and point uh -uh. indiscriminately around yep. like an idiot when you can when you can no longer hear my voice, oh. okay? Oh, watch this. Yo, throw a dab. Hello, Ooh. hello, 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 Dabbing. hello, hello, oh hello, God. hello. Can you hear me still? Can you hear me still? Can you hear me? Can I you got hear me? you. Okay, you still got me. Can you oh, hear me? I don't know if they can. No, I'm can, not doing it. Can he? Can he hear me? I... What the fuck is going on? What the fuck did Stanley break? Hey, Stanley, hey. Mr. Dangle, hey, can you hear me? You. Now we can. I hear can. You. Yes, I can okay. hear you. Remember, point when you can't hear me. God damn it! I can't tell if you can hear me or not if you're oh. pointing all crazy. Okay. Do you want me to dab if I can't hear you? Yeah, if you if you can't or, if you cannot hear oh me, then God. then throw your dab. All right. But other than that, it, you okay. should not be dabbing. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Can you hear I me will, now? I will, I will. Can you hear me now? Uh. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can, can you hear me? Yep. Still hear mm -hmm. me over here? Absolutely. How about over here? Yep. You can still hear me right now? Absolutely. Can you hear me now? Okay, there it is. I don't know what's broke. What the hell's broke? Bitch, damn. <laughs> I did 41. Yeah, I think I did it on maybe 30. It, it, it was just too perfect. You know what I mean? See, like, it, like that, that moment. You know, when, when we could we, could we replicate so that? Like if, this, if we this, had missed that. Easy. I'm going to roll the mission. We got to yeah, get copy. that boy going. Hey, uh, counselor, oh, I'm going to okay. need to call you. I was going to teach you about. Um, All right. We have something fine. going on that it would be prudent to uh, have a conversation about later on. Maybe we could meet up at your office if. Uh, if necessary, we might okay. have to call you to Mission Row. All right. Are we are we free to go, sir? Oh yes, sir. You are got you good? gentlemen are free to go. I appreciate that. Uh, I copied down all the information I'm going to need. If I need to get in contact with y'all again, 
I'll give you a ring, okay? All right, lovely stuff. Appreciate no it, gentlemen. Thank you. No yep, problem, Trooper. No worries. All right, well, uh, I'm going to head out for a bit, boys. I'm going to go see what... Yeah, random question. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. There we have the, the evidence. County Dispatch 309 Motor. Show me uh, 1076 Mission Road Sally Port. <laughs> 451 same. 21 is 23. Motor, same traffic. Timestamps can be Okay, so we're going to go in there, we're going to brace Mr. White. We're going to go in there and bra brace Mr. White and uh, see what he knows about this kidnapping bullshit. Be on if that. we can do that and What's get going something on off at the of bank him, earlier? we'll tie in Beach bank. both of those 911 calls we had. Oh, we're going to go that route. The parking you just, garage, I, you I, tried I, to start an arm robbing and have so many so fucking we'll people so you cases. can't keep count. You don't understand the so That's what we're going to try to do. I, I'm a, take five with cases all due respect, the Mr. Officer, I'm a businessman. I've been to like the bank 20 times today, and um, the both okay. of the banks. So you've been out to the bank. bank. You've been you've been looking for victims at least 20 times today. Is that what you're saying? No, sir. I've been depositing money at least 20 times today to pay back the money Oh, is that money from the individuals the that you've been attempting to rob at gunpoint, making deposits in the same bank? Are those? Oh shit. Uh, no, sir. Okay. I don't know. I don't know the situation, sort of like, if you explain me, I can explain you Oh, that. you know the situation. I know the situation that you're telling me. I don't know the situation I know about. Trooper Dole, well, the situation I'm is we got a bunch know exactly of fucking incidents. Oh, he knows exactly what the fuck's going on. What is this group? group He's already gang placed gang himself oh, at yeah. the bank. We've Welcome already got the, the camera bank. footage. We've got the witness statements. We've got the evidence. Oh. And that's just that's talking separate from this attempted murder that's rock fucking solid. Holy shit, son! You know you won't believe what else I heard, Trooper Doyle. I heard this son of a bitch is back to kidnapping folks, even after I arrested what? him what the you one mean, time. Kidnapping man. Hold on, Mister White, for fuck's sake, sir. I'm talking to Trooper Doyle. Stop eavesdropping, sir. That's very rude. Anyway, Doyle, I got it on good authority. This son of a bitch is back to kidnapping. I already arrested his goofy ass doing it one time in the Sand King. They're saying that he's back at it again, kidnapping the shit out of folks, holding them hostage for ransom and shit. So you're telling me that this guy's running around stabbing people in the gut, mm -hmm. trying to rob people at the bank and failing for it, yep. and also having a hard time getting his kidnap on? He don't sound like a very good fucking criminal. I know, right? They were I'm saying not the kidnapper. Mr. White, for crying out loud, sir, will direct the questions at you when it's your turn. I know, right? Man's fucking up left and right. He was yeah. better at selling real oh, yeah. estate. Now he's now he's uh, neck deep in it. He ain't good or good at it, Doyle. Looks like he might enjoy uh, no. the, the time up at the booty house, I think. Yeah, at least the time we send him to the booty house for all three of these fucking instances we got rolling, at least he'll get his fucking bachelor's degree in criminology. Yeah, he's going to get a Ph.D. in P-E-N-I-S is what he's going to get. Mm -hmm. Going to be a member of the 1,000 Month Club. <laughs> I'm a I'm a doctor of dick. Oh, snap. Dr. Dick in the house, y'all. Paging Dr. Dick. Dr. Need dick. Need some balls shined. Oh, very nice. Oh, sorry oh, about so that, he, Mr. White. Yeah, he, yeah, he's all excited about it. He got the routine down already. He's already getting his calisthenics in. Doesn't want to be fatigued. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I'm going to get a coffee real quick before we get started. It's going to be okay, great. Okay, that machine, yes, uh, the Just printer's broke, you so if you got to do any man. printing, do printing up there, because there ain't, ain't no printer working. All right. 
All right, Mr. White, so this is what we're looking at, sir. Yes, we sir. got you dead to fucking rights. Ain't no really need for a confession. I mean, hearing your side of the story, you're probably just going to spend a whole bunch of bullshit, end up tacking on another probably 50, 60 months with lying. So I figure at least we ain't talked to the county sheriff yet, but I talked to uh, Trooper Doyle about it. We're thinking no interrogation. We just process you on this shit right now, give you your 700 months or whatever the hell it comes out to be, and be done with your ass. With, with all due respect, Trooper Thompson and other officers and troopers. <laughs> That's going like to piss I them said, off. you guys know me. You know me, Mr. Trooper. I do the crime. I do the time. I okay. do admit to stuff. But here is the thing. You guys, uh, I'm sorry. We, I got arrested for this situation. I understand. And I did admit to this situation what I have done. You guys mm -hmm. talking about two other di di situations that I don't know because you guys haven't told me anything about it. And how oh. should I know, sir? Okay, Mr. White, Basically, I apologize, sir. I, thought, I, saying, I misunderstood you. saying, Trooper Thompson, he does so much fucking crime. What? So much crime. We need to narrow it down for him. Whoa. That's a lot of okay, crime. Okay, sir, you know, with all due respect, officers uh, and troopers, <laughs> you know, if you guys just give me something, I could work with you guys. So if y'all ain't Listen, I've been working uh, checked my, out, my fat um, ass butt, my old butt, Saeed White to get is, money is to pay Black, back the government. And he I've is been, fucking hilarious. I've been getting 50000 That's who today. plays this fellow right here. That is a lot of money. Y'all should check out okay? his Twitch. I've been getting a lot of money um, today lot of love for him. to pay back the government and I still Obviously a member of the SOE like family. Two, uh, he is more fucking hilarious. Oh, so that was your, your motive for trying to rob Mr. Cletus, the box robber. Y'all ain't checked out his stuff. You should check his stuff out. Fucking guy's hilarious. That's why I said box. Did I say you robbed him? Making you verbal threats with the firearm is at the you minimum of first your, degree assault, You just changed assault, your attempted, man. Listen, I can, what you guys need to know, I will say yes or no to the confession, man. What you need to know is we don't need you to confess. We oh, don't. Oh, okay. I understand, I understand, Trooper. I understand, you know, you guys are, you guys are doing your job and I respect that, but I did not know you guys do your job with no evidence, you know, if you're gonna go that no way. No evidence? I know, I know. You've got a track not record for severe offense, oh, sir. Don't tell me how to mm -hmm. do my fucking job. You don't know what I know. Damn, You're son. Flint oh, with what nothing. What do you know? You don't know what I oh, know. Oh, my God. I mean, if we're going to go that way. Oh, you don't know that. I'm about to just book oh, this shit. son of a bitch. Don't do it, Doyle. God, Lee, you're getting him fired up, Mr. White. Good God. What are you doing, son? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. You're about sorry. to let I'm the really tiger out of the cage. I'm really sorry. Don't do that. You're going to get Doyle going. And it's going to be a goddamn trickle effect. Playing goddamn dumb when he's trying to rob people at a fucking uh, bank. There's cameras fucking everywhere, listen, sir. Listen, listen, All right, Mr. White. Listen, I, I, listen, I'll give you. I'll give I you a run. Rob anyone at the bank. I'll give you a rundown of what crime. I got. Okay, and then that way you'll bring you hopefully up to speed. Is that fair? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So obviously, Mr. White, you already know, sir. When it comes to federal evidentiary rules, I believe it's going to be U.S. Code Title 18, Part Two. Chapter 223, oh, subsection 3502. <laughs> Deputy, would you mind going upstairs and getting the bone saw? We might have to take off Mr. White's leg. Not a problem. God damn, fucking Swat's at it again. <laughs> Mr. White, the fuck out the train you want to stop all that caterwauling and mewling and carrying on, or are we going to take that goddamn leg off? Okay, sir. Just okay. give me a parasite and I'll be Gucci. Now, again, having quoted... The U.S. Code for you, sir, which I'm sure I did not need to do. The statement of an eyewitness is always admissible, sir. Okay, so that is admissible evidence. A victim testifying about a crime to which they witness, especially to an officer of the court, sir, is, is admissible all day long in every single court in these United States. Okay, and we have one, two, I believe three witness statements that are being tying you to all of these incidents, sir. Okay, so we got that. The vehicle description is going to match the Sand King that I have in my patrol log as the Sand King that I recovered from you when I picked your ass up after you got ran the fuck over when I charged you with the attempt kidnapping them two females and the one that you stabbed next to that Sand King uh, about, what was it, eight or nine days ago, sir? Does that jog your memory? Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir, sir, the facts that have been recounted here are going to match what's, your, what's called your modus operandi, sir, which is Latin for method of operation, mm -hmm. Okay. It matches it fucking perfect to a T. Now, looking at your record, sir, you've caught serious felony convictions in the past for attempt kidnapping, attempt homicide, assault with a deadly weapon, aggravated armed robbery, public display of a firearm, terroristic acts, and terroristic threats, sir. Now, I'll tell you what, me and Trooper Doyle just got on shift, and I'm feeling pretty I'm feeling pretty accommodating right now. Okay, so what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna Mirandize you, sir, and you knowing what we know already. 
If you're 100% honest, I'll guarantee you that we waive the fine and cut the time big time. You might even see daylight. If you don't, sir, you are going to get fucked up with every amount of horsepower that we can apply to the fucking of why oh fucking you, sir. All right? Uh, yes, sir. You Man, will need a DeLorean. from a fucking monster truck. Yeah, you're goddamn right. You'll need a DeLorean, Doc Brown, Einstein, and Marty McFly to get back to a year you recognize, sir. You're going to wake up with holographic sharks and fucking levitating jeeps and hoverboards and shit if you don't uh, fucking come clean. Yes, sir. I, I need to sit for this, man. I'm getting too nervous. All right, then. Here come your rights now. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you at no cost by the state. You have the right to have your attorney present while you're being questioned. You have the right to invoke these rights at any point in time, sir. You understand your rights as I've read them to you? Yes, sir. I do understand that, Mr. Officer Trooper Thompson. You know what? Just cut off the mister and the officer. Just go with Trooper. Now, Mr. White, okay, I know you know that, so you must be doing that to see if you can get me upset. You want to get me upset, sir? No, no, no. I, I always call everyone mister. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 a, I'm an older man. I try to respect my fellow older men. Fair enough, Mr. White. Fair enough. I'll tell you what. I'm going to make it nice and easy for you, though. You see a blue uniform like this one? It's Trooper. That's it. Okay, so that ought to save you a good amount of time and, and breath. With all due respect, Trooper, I'm a colorblind. I don't see... Oh, God. Things. So maybe the patches, though, that say state police, or maybe the insignias that say state police, or the side of the car says state police, or the fact that you know who the fuck I am might be what we'd have to rely well, I know on. I you then. who you are. That, you know what I mean? That's what, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I understand, sir. That'd be like me okay, showing I'll, up and being like, what's going on, Cornelius Penal Whistle? And you'd be like, that, that ain't me. And I'd be like, oh, sorry, Mr. White, I... I'm colorblind. I cannot tell. You see how stupid that is? See how fucking stupid that is, yeah, sir? Do you see how fucking stupid that yeah, is? But, you know, are you judging people that is colorblind, sir? Absolutely not, Mr. White. I'm just saying that's what? fucking stupid, sir. What the fuck is he talking about? I that think he's trying cool. to say that I'm is... judging colorblind folks, Duel. I think he's no, missing no, no, the no, exit I'm, here. I'm sorry, man. I'm from Anglo Somalia, man. I'm, I'm very bad at this. I understand, I understand whoa, your... Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. Are you generalizing people from Somalia? Did you just assume... Did everybody coming out of Somalia am, can't am, see in color? I what the hell? From, what you, I am from oh, Angola. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not judging people. Whoa. I don't know if I can be a part of this whoa, here, Doyle. He's, he's lopping in the whole goddamn country right now. He is. What this in the is hell? This my country, man. I can talk about my country, man. Jeez, Doyle. I don't know if I'm comfortable now. I feel uncomfortable. You, you feel offended? I feel uncomfortable. Doyle feeling offended. Yeah. Watch out now. Oh, my flags are going off. Flags is going off. Yeah, Jeez, that's a, I, you I, know, I, I am I am ready for your uh, for your questions. Negative, sir. I mean, your, we uh, are ready for Y O U. You You're gonna give me the rundown all of all the nefarious ass Let's bullshit you've little, been sorry. up to? Take yes, a little sir. break. Yes, sir. I will, sir. Now, the only reason, uh, Trooper Here Thompson, I told we. you I'm ready for the question oh. is because uh, the other fellow officer over there, he said I was wanted for two investigations, right? Yeah. And this uh, this uh, this one right here. The only reason I'm asking is because so if I know which one, I can talk about it because mm -hmm. I've been like, I've been working eight hours, you know, oh, so I, I don't know, know I... whether I've been or not, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, we know. We know you've been so, hard at work. We, you've, been, you've been putting in them hours, boy. You've been I, hard at work. You know, I've been trying to get back the, the money for the government. <laughs> sir. The Fucking Tony Soprano. Yes, sir. I will come clean. Yes, Why don't sir, we start at the beginning? Clean. What's farted wrong? We need to know about yeah. it. So I heard about the okay. bank robbing, the kidnapping. Obviously, the stabbing and the request of song, uh, and then the other bullshit with the extortion is going to be tied to the kidnapping. So why don't we go in order? Why don't you talk about the bank robbing first, and then we'll talk about the kidnapping in your, news, in your Sand King that apparently is a kidnapping vehicle. I would think you'd have bought a van by now, which, wait, okay. you, he actually does own a white Yauga van. I caught him in robbing a bank once. That'd be the one I think oh, you'd use. Shit. Either way, we'll start there, bank robbing, kidnapping, and then we'll go to attempt homicide. You know what I'm saying? Let's okay. work our way. Yes, sir. Send it. Yes, sir. With all, with all the respect, troopers and officers, are you talking about inside of the bank or outside of the bank? Why right don't now? we go ahead and do both? You know, so that way we color it. We we'll just okay. paint it with one brush. Yes, Tell me everything you got. Yes, sir. All right, yes, sir. This is what I got. Okay. I went to the bank. I deposit some money. I see a guy with the cowboy hat. I don't know his name. Vile 35 says, resident sleeper, resident sleeper, resident sleeper. But he actually fucked up doing all the sleepy heads he wanted to do. 
You must be new, banana head. Okay, here we call that my car. A fucking sleepyhead guy. Let's be real here, officers. I am a hustler. Okay, I am very good at speaking. He's a hustler, baby. Into like you know getting some mula. So I told him, sir, if you want, for half of the price, I will fix your car right here, right now. Oh. And he said, you know, he said, hmm, I will do that. How much? I said, you know, I don't know, fifteen hundred. We have a deal. And then he said, okay, and sleepy then he changed guy, his mind while I was face, looking at the car and he said, you know what, I've been robbed enough today. Now, if you and are I brand him, new, I pulled my gun. Why don't you try giving it a hot minute? It's called an interrogation. We're doing out. police work. I told him, Look Maybe gun, sir. you give it you enough time, gun? you'll be open mouth inside a gun, guy. But Otherwise, you'll be kicked the fuck out of here. You'll find yourself back in the browsing area on a fucking rocket. And he said he doesn't want my favor. I think he got spooked. So I said goodbye. He, you know, went his way. I went my way. I went... That's the that's when I go Eli Lott get not my listening to you. Yes, I am. Yes, he said he that he was outside the bank attempting to cut a guy a deal on auto fire. repair, he saying that he would do the, the repairs away, for half sir. price, and he, he wasn't away, actually be involved he in the bank robbery at all. Is what is what he said. Now Doyle's calling him out. He drove away with his car, sir. I don't understand. So yeah, I am listening. With all due respect. No, I'm not saying he didn't leave in the car, but I'll be damned if he pedal paddled and left there in a fucking calm demeanor, sir. Yes, sir, I understand that, and I respect that. So why that. are you showing somebody that you have a pistol and telling them that you're not a fucking robber? That just seems dumb. But I am a dumb man, man. Here's my, here's Look my gun, me. sir. I'm not going to rob you. I just wanted to fucking show you. Hey, Duel, I'm trying to take yes, notes so here, he but doesn't... it's saying that the gun was... So was he robbing or showing? I I showed him the gun. Before you robbed him? No, I didn't rob him. I showed him the gun, and I told him I'm not going to rob him. Oh. Doyle, he's saying that hey, he boss, told... I got a gun. Here it is. Right. I'm not going to rob He's you. saying that he did that Makes to sense. show... Well, he... Okay, so I got in the notes here. He showed him the gun to not rob him, though. What do you yeah, have? Yes, to showed show him, him that I... showed I... him the gun so he didn't rob him. Makes sense, right? Uh, To be honest, Doyle, it, it would make more sense if it was... I showed him the gun and then robbed him. Oh, Fuck. That's why. That's why I'm never gonna get detective. For me, I know personally when I'm off duty and I see somebody that has a stranded motors, I go up to them. The first thing I say is, "I got a gun. Look at this shit. Yeah. Here it is. Not gonna rob you. Like not surprise. Not gonna do it though. Surprise, penis. You want to see a gun? Not really. I ain't gonna rob you though. You know what I mean? That's not. I don't. I ain't never had one of those interactions that I can think of. Recent memory, at least. Yeah. See, that's weird. Sorry. I'm sorry, but yes, that's what I did. Uh, okay. And that's. I got that's it in the notes. to the stabbing part. Yes, sir. That. So half hour later. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm sorry. You want me to explain all the situations? So basically, I went to the garage, sir. After I deposited my money, and you know, the guy went away. I got my truck out. The truck you, you know, you talk yeah, about the, the two truck. females and the stuff. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. I got the truck out, and I meet a very nice gentleman, African American male in the garage. I don't know his name. That's why. I'm his name is uh, Mr. Mathis. Mr. Mattis, okay, I met Mr. Mattis, I guess, in the garage, mm -hmm. and we were just like, you know, talking normal stuff, and he came into my truck, and we started driving, and then we drove, and I told him if he want to come to the prison with me, I'm going to meet my lawyer, because I didn't have my phone, I told him if he could message my lawyer to meet me there, and he's like, yes, sir, so he messaged my lawyer, Mr. Dante Dankwit, I met uh, him in, uh, outside of prison with this uh, African-American male, and we talked about, you know, my business and, uh, you know, about the, the lawyer stuff. Wait, and about then the, the repairing like business, minutes. like the half-off auto repair business? Or are you talking about the uh, kidnapping no, sir, business? Uh, no, no, we talked about, we talked about, you know, his business partner that I have problems with. I'm trying to sort. And, you know, we sorted out. I got back in my car. Mr. African-American male came with me. I went to garage. I dropped him off. I went away. I came back. It was two people there. And they told me. This is the third situation. Like I got arrested for yeah, now. They okay. told me, they told me the cowboy hat had called the police on me. And I was like, huh? Police Sergeant Hitmarker says, "Cool story, longer, said, please." Hey yeah, man, we heard him he wants to make sure we get all of the lies, you kidnapping and robbing Every one of the lies, he wants to make sure we get all of them down. I was very upset, sir. I'll be honest. I got in the car. I, you know, I parked my truck. I grabbed the longer, car. please. I went straight down. Probably the, used to hearing that. Go past the, uh, you know. You probably hear that a lot. Is it in the yet? car dealership? So I was going <laughs> Longer, past the um, where you can grab van runs. Open and I mouth, saw them angry, so crying baby. I parked baby. up my car. I went up to him. I went straight to his face, and I told him, "Sir, 
what do you have against me? And, you know, he was like, oh, I ain't got nothing and stuff. And I was, you know, I was like, I didn't understand why he would report me. So I told him, Open mouth, why you snitch, man? Angry, crying baby. And he's like, what you talk about? Sir? <laughs> about and I told him, Sni you know, snitches get bitches. That's when I saw him. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's when I saw him. He went, mm. I'm sorry, yes, sir. sir. I think it was just the speed. Did you say snitches get stitches or bitches? Because that no, could be a real, bitches. hey, that could be a campaign for us, Duel. Like, hey, snitches, yes, snitches get bitches. You, you ain't getting any dates. Come on in with a hot I'm gonna tip. I'm going to go talk to the captain right now. See yeah, if we hey, can put my that. name on that. Put my name Get on that. Get some flyers going. Will you put my name on that? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm going to go talk to the captain about it. My man. All right, go on ahead. The reason, yes, sir, and the reason I say bitches is because bitches get out of prison before the other ones, yeah? So they get the bitches faster, yeah? Oh, shit. Anyway, sir. Oh, okay. You're talking about yes, taking sir. penis in prison is what you meant. No, no. I'm talking about you getting out of prison like 70 70 percent less time than the other ones because you snitch on them then you get the bitches while they're still in prison right oh because shit you're so you're on like a yeah. whole nother fucking thing so they get out early they're yeah, having man. sex with all the mm -hmm. bitches meanwhile mm -hmm. the rest of them boys is mm -hmm. breaking rocks and making license plates all right then I'm uh, exactly man i learned it by watching american gangster okay anyway Holy back shit. to the all point right, sir. solid copy back to the point sir so i i told him I told him about snitches get bitches, and I saw him went Open for his mouth, gun. Angry, and I, I, baby. I will be honest. I'm not even sure if he went for his gun or not 100%. But it, I saw he took his left, uh, left, um, left hand, and he reached inside of his jacket, mm. and that's when I pulled my knife and I stabbed him. Jesus! I stabbed him right down because I was like, I ain't getting, you know, I'm not getting shot today. That's when the African American male behind me mm -hmm. came with the gun straight to my face, and I'll oh, be honest, shit. man, I. I kick away his gun. I'm sorry, not kick. I slap away his gun. Yeah. And he managed to shoot me in the shoulder with once. And that's when I called 911 yeah. with my one hand. I hurt in the uh, and you guys came. For an older man, you were very spry. I don't know if I'd have tried to slap that Thank gun you. out of his hands. You know what I mean? Like that's some that's some fucking Navy SEAL shit right there, Mr. White. Very impressive, sir, sir. That's why you know I tried to stay in shape. You know. So. Yes, sir. I did notice. Okay. So what makes more sense, sir? Uh, that that four people have corroborated these different stories with evidence matching your vehicle, your method of observation, <laughs> the timeline that we know where you're at, that we can track via contact with the police or witness statements, and, and all of this is just a big fucking frame job, or you're trying to, to paint yourself in a light that uh, you think you might be improving your situation, but in actuality, sir, you're going to be adding about 45 to 50 50 months onto your sentence for supplying false information to not one but two officers, state troopers, and obstruction of justice, sir, for us having to run down all these bullshit leads and double check your facts. Which one sounds more likely? With, with all the respect, I believe it's 50 50. Because 50 -50. I, I, did, I, I have done crimes. I have done crimes, sir. I have never, I've never said I haven't done crimes. But I haven't done all the crimes. You see what I'm saying, man? I They're agree. trying to frame me for more and more I've no, done. No, no. Mr. White, to be fair, I have six extra open cases for attempt homicide. We've got one grand theft auto, one hit and run here. If I was to attempt to do that, sir, we could just lop all those in. But to be fair, that's a, that's some other okay, man. knows. Okay, push, put me in, man. I, I take my I take my charges, man. <sighs> what do you, what do you charges, want? Uh, but am, see, I'm that's what, for... here, Mr. White, this is what you don't understand, sir. We're trying to help you out. It'd be easy as fuck to hand your ass over to the county sheriff and let him max you out and find the shit out of you. All right? Now, this isn't a threat. This is a promise. You can either work with us, and you can cut that time down to the point, like I said, where you're going to be seeing daylight here in a reasonable amount of months, or you can roll the dice with the county sheriff's office and see if you end up with a thousand-plus-month sentence, sir. That's up to you. Now, we ain't playing yes, games. Sir. We're down here trying to help you. We ain't got to be down here, and you know that. I yes, think sir. you've had it both ways. Yes, sir. Now, if you're asking for the county sheriff, I'll get on the radio right now and call him up here and have him do you blind. You hear me? Otherwise, you can work with the state and get yes, cut. Yes, sir. That's it. I do work with the state, sir. I okay. Do the, I do the time, sir. I understand. I do work with the state, Now, you sir. were involved in that bullshit bank robbery and the kidnapping and the stabbing. Now, weren't you? I was involved in the kidnapping, yep. the stabbing. Got him. All right. Uh, if the bank robber, if you mean outside, yes. Yep. But I didn't rob the bank. I robbed. You I know, know I know. I Mr. White, yes. I also yes, know, sir. sir, that you were outside the bank. You offer your lookout services to bank robbers. You hang yes, out sir. outside, and then if there's a problem, you beep the horn all crazy, and then you drive off wild to try to draw off the police. I know all about that because, remember, I stopped you before on the other bank robbery when you was in that silver convertible. Do you remember that? 
Yes, sir. You know, I, so I, I know about like, that. I, I got to pay my bills somehow. You know, I, Mr. White, I wasn't going to charge you with the damn bank robbery, sir. What we we're asking for is the truth. Okay, now you got to be able to trust me it is the truth. that I'm not going to come behind your back and give you that fat ass sentence if you were honest. And I got to be able to trust you that when I ask you about it, if you're going to be honest and you tell me you will, then you're going to do it. Okay. If we fuck that up, then yes, there ain't sir. no way to tell. We're just having to deal with you. Have to deal with you. You deal with somebody else. I ain't going to waste my time. Yes, sir. All right, now do me a favor. You walk to the back of that cell, you face that back cell wall, you put your hands behind your back, you put your palms together like you are praying, sir, and don't you move an inch. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, I, uh, I think we're good to put all those in the black door. Uh, if you want, I'm going to wave the fine on him, and I'm going to reduce the time down, uh, and then we'll put those in the black uh, since he's good to go. I'll yeah, we can question. do that. But if I run into this son of a bitch again and we spend this much time, Jesus fucking Christ. I barely finished my coffee. All right, fair enough. You hear that, Mr. White? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I now, just make that one question you for you guys. One, I, yes, sir. Uh, since, remember when the last time I arrested you, sir, we talked about some of the businesses you want to start up? Sir. You remember that conversation? Uh, I, I do remember that, but I, I just can't do it. I have tried. I don't. I ain't got well, no money hold, to do it. So hold I'll on now. All I asked was if you remembered. Since you recall that, obviously yes, Trooper Duell and myself, we're tied into with the state police, right? We, uh, we have a couple of foundations, some nonprofits that exist that could help a gentleman such as yourself who's enterprising and has ideas and just lacks capital, sir. So when you get out, do me a favor. You call up your lawyer. You set up a meeting. We'll come down there and meet with you, talk about some of your ideas. Maybe we can get you some capital to pursue that. Okay, so you ain't got to be out here as old as you are trying to pull Navy SEAL moves and stabbing people with 12-inch pig stickers and shit. Uh -huh. I don't know what to say. That's very kind of you guys and the government. Well, the goal I'm is, sir, not to, not to have you constantly up at the at the booty house engaged, engaged in all-male cuddle puddles, sir. We're trying to rehabilitate you. The government you. ain't going to fucking back you till you get uh, out your deficit. Mm -hmm. You did my that whole, to you. I'll be honest, don't tell people my whole... It's still shaped as in the prison, man. Yeah, I know. Like they call they that the ass cave. <laughs> about they, Them boys up yeah. there are going to be doing some spelunking. Yeah, but. Yeah. Thank you, sir. All right, now, Mr. White, when you get out, you call your attorney. You hear me? Don't you go around doing yes, this sir. fucking bullshit again. Yes, sir. All right, then. We're going to give you a big break on the fine now. And we're going to give you a big break on the time because you was honest. All right? And make a note in your record. Yes, sir. I understand. All right, so in case you all know, uh, now we just cleared. We cleared six cases. Uh, all of them are going to be felonies. We're going to put those into wins. We're going to drop his misdemeanors and the fine, and then we're going to process One him on those. While Mr. Yes, sir. Is, you know, typing down. Uh, sir, I have some cards and stuff, and I was wondering, I really want to pay down the debt I owe the, you know, I owe the government. Yes, sir. Uh, are they willing to take my cards as a, you know, as yes, sir. a 100%. As a salesman? Yes, sir, you can. Uh, if you oh. go on the government forums and, and post uh, about those cars uh, being for sale, you can either run an auction style and have them bid, or you can set a, what's called a minimum or a reserve. Uh, so, like, I'll, you know, you won't sell it until it hits that price or whatever, and, and folks will buy that off of you. But if you want to surrender those assets to the state so the state can auction them off to offset on the blue book value of those assets, we're willing to work with you on that. Okay, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so if y'all ain't checked out, Saeed Black uh, is his Twitch name. He is fucking hilarious. Going back out there. All right, brother man. Stay safe. Uh, is it an ambush? Keep your head on a swivel. This might be an ambush. Been attacked by Regina. Properly trained. They neither. <gasps> yeah, there has been a, a serious increase in reckless operation of Regina's. They're finding them all over people's property and shit. Do be careful. Yeah, just just watch your head as you come out, 309. Okay. What we're going to do here to cut him a break as well is uh, we're going to give you a, a break on the charge. We're not going to double him up. All right, Mr. White. So what I'm also going to do, sir, because you were honest, is I'm, I'm not going to double up the charges on you, okay? Uh, so we're going to do one a one-time 
on all three incidents, all right, which will considerably cut down the time, but it'll also help you with your record, okay? Because if you're going to get approved for the funding and such, they can't think they're giving money to a fucking psychopath. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand, okay. man. Yes, sir. Again, if you cooperate, if we do the police work and catch you as dead to rights, and you cooperate, then you don't get completely fucked. Um, some, sometimes, yeah, yeah, sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. You know what I'm saying? If you plan it out right and you don't get caught, hey, good on you. If you don't plan it out right and you get caught dead to rights, as long as you're honest, we can put these cases in the black. We can get back to these victims, and they'll be good to go. He's going to do his jail time. It works out better. So literally the maximum on all those charges that we had him for was probably somewhere north of 300 months. And just being honest, he cut the fine to fucking zero, which would have put him probably like 50K, and now he's got 45 months. That's a good deal. All right, Mr. White. So this is what we got, sir. Yes, Attempt sir. homicide, kidnapping, assault with a deadly weapon, fleeing and eluding terroristic threats, aggravated armed robbery, obstruction of justice. Okay. David 13, 10, 8. Now, if we had had all the charges in there, if you had chose to have been dishonest, what you'd have been looking at is right in the neighborhood of 300 plus months. Okay. Oh. Yeah, and probably about a forty-five thousand dollar fine in that neighborhood. What we've been able to do though, since she was honest and cooperative, we lowered the time down to forty-five months, five, four, five months. Okay, and no fine. Oh. What? Uh, I'm, I ain't got no word through, but you you kind of saved my. Uh, yeah, I know. You saved my life at the time and stuff. Don't worry. Thank you so much. Okay, cooperation has benefits, sir. Stop doing this kind of wild ass shit. All right, the goal again is to rehabilitate your ass. Otherwise, your old ass going to die in yes, jail. Sir. Yes, sir, I understand. It's just trouble fix me, I must say. Oh, we're going to fix you. Don't worry, sir. I will not give up on you. I will rest and jail you as many times as it takes to make sure you are 100% rehabilitated. County Dispatch, 309 yes, Motor. Request an immediate 1091 transport to Bolingbrook State Prison for a medium security inmate. Going to be a number six male. Let's see, six feet tall, 180, 190 pounds, gray hair, glasses, Mr. Roger sweater, button-up shirt, gray slacks, brown boots, Mission Row Cell 1. Later on, dude. County Dispatch 309 Motor, you can mark me back in service. 10 4 Ain't no chance he's 145 pounds. You see that big fucking gut he's got? Looks like two bowling balls stuffed into a pillowcase. Ain't no chance. Ain't no chance 145 pounds. What the hell you talk about? Maybe just in the sweater area. Maybe. Maybe. I think that person might be like every single, every single person who has like a, a struggles with their weight, that's that guy's best friend. You know what I mean? That's that friend that's like, buy the shirt, you look great, and then you get home and you're like, what in the hell? Looks like I got a thousand bee stings right now. Good on you, buddy. Good on you. All right, let's do some shout-outs right quick. Try to stay caught up with that. I've been hearing it go off, y'all. I'm doing my best. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I do my best. I really do. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Where we at? Where we at? All right, then. Uh, let's see. God damn it. Streamlabs, why you do this? Why do you, why you got to be like this? Uh, all right. Oh, I found it. I found it. Uh, Nixu Pixu has joined the army of ELI. Just had to become a part of the hashtag Eli Army, hashtag We Not Me. Hey, thank you, buddy. Welcome to the team. Here's a hashtag We Not Me in the, in the chat. 451, send it. All the streets, San Andreas Avenue, Mary Edward Henry 521. Mary Edward Henry 521. 10 4, hold you out on Alta Street with tag Mary Edward Henry 521. Mary Edward Henry 521. Timestamp's going to be 18, 18, uh, 1810. Okay, so we'll head back out. But I appreciate y'all. Appreciate the hell out of y'all. Much love to the Eli Army, to uh, the SOE family. Army up, family up. And obviously, much love to all the content creators. If y'all like somebody's content, uh, if it's on YouTube or they do podcasts or they do Twitch or whatever the hell it is, um, you know, you're good to go in here. You ain't going to ever hear me talk bad about another content creator, ever. You know, uh, so the folks that are coming in here and saying, like, you know, uh, you know, fuck Lyric or fuck Buddha or, you know, whatever the fuck. That, we ain't about that life. If they do wrong, we jail them. But if people do wrong to them, we jail those motherfuckers too. It's all about law. Law and order. 
And uh, with this RP, the thing that makes it different, because there ain't no life rule, is sometimes the hardened criminals can also be the fucking victims. Maybe they were doing some shit at one second, but the next second, you know, they're a victim, they need help. We help everybody equal. We help everybody equal. Okay, so there, you'll never actually, you'll never hear that. If you came in here, uh, again, you know, thinking that you're going to come in here and, and we're going to badmouth the hell out of somebody or or do something like that, you, we ain't we ain't doing that. The only people we target are banana heads, jack wagons, idiots, fuck-ups, and lawbreakers. That's the category of, of butthole that we seek out and punish. That's where we're going, okay? So when, when it comes to content creation, first of all, I think you probably shouldn't say nothing unless you're doing something because uh, they're out there working, trying to create something for somebody else to enjoy. And it don't matter who it is. If they got six viewers, if they got 600,000 viewers, it don't matter. What matters is they're out, they're out there trying to put their heart and soul into something for other people to enjoy. That's big ups, big ups. You know, so you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna find that here. You know, so if, you, if you're not creating content, you know, it's hard to give feedback, right? And also keep that in mind. Even if you don't like somebody's RP or, or you don't like uh, what, the, what it is that they're putting out, you have to understand that it's coming from a good place, that they're genuinely trying to do something that other people like. And, and that's good. You know what I mean? That's good all day. Others before self, you know what I mean? Can't get mad at somebody for that. Can't get mad. That's like going to an elementary school and like walking into a band class. Some kid ain't, you know, you're trying to play an instrument ain't never played before. It's 